Hey everybody, it's Stephanie back with Rock the Spot Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. Today we're going to be working on gradient backgrounds. These here are just apple barrel paints. Uh, these ones are folk art paints. These ones, these two that have the diamonds on them, are, uh, are metallic and this one is color shift. Okay, so here we go. I just start with a couple of plates so I don't get my counter messy a couple of little cheap foam brushes and some paints that will blend nicely together. So obviously you don't want to put like orange and green together because it's going to make brown and the color that it makes in between is going to be not appealing. So here we go. I start by just putting a blob of paint next to another blob of paint. And we just keep going. So you can put more or less colors, whatever you're preferring. I am kind of trying to go for a sunset on this one. So we'll see what cool gradients I can achieve. Let's put the yellow. So some paint might be different consistencies. You might want to test it out a little bit first before you put it on a whole rock. So what I'm doing, I just take my sponge brush, I just dip both sides, saturate it with paint, especially if it's dry. You want a good amount of paint on there so that you can get a good coverage. So I just take one rock, figure out which way you want the gradient to go, either this way or this way. I want it to go across this way, so I'm going to start just like this. So the more swipes that you make, the more blended the colors get. So the more, the more strokes they, oh, try not to do what I just did. I just dipped the brush the wrong way. So there are different techniques. You can go straight across. Sometimes you're gonna see the brush strokes like you can see here, or you can just dab, dab, dab. You get more paint coverage. It takes a little bit longer to dry, and it gives a, a little bit of a different look. So I personally like both of them. So once again, here's the stroke. And here's the little dabby technique. I think I'm gonna leave it like that because I kind of like it. It looks like Aurora Borealis. <clears throat> okay, let me put that one down. We're gonna move this to the side. We're gonna start with these colors. I'm excited to see these colors. I want to do a cool sunset, like an island sunset. So just take it, like I said, figure out which way you want it to go, and then just put it on there. It's pretty easy. Some rocks are more porous than others, so they take up more paint. Really, that's all there is to it. It's so easy, you guys. Ooh, that looks nice. So if you want to get more coverage on one side, just take the, the edge of the brush and kind of tap it. Try not to get the other color. Once they dry, they look so much better too. You can't, all the little bubbles that you might be able to see when it's wet, they pop and most of the time you can't see the little imperfections, especially if you're gonna draw or put something on top of it. 
So that's all it takes. I come in afterwards. I'm gonna let these dry and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna show you how to put these, this black fade around the edge. I use Posca and a stencil brush. So by the power of editing, we are back and we are dry. So I'm gonna show you how to do the fading, like how I got around these rocks. I'm gonna be using them for a silhouette, so I'm gonna be using black, but really you can use any color you can think of. I would just suggest a color that goes good with the colors that you used. Okay, so this is how I start. I just, oh, it would probably help if I prime my Posca. Make sure that you have a good amount of ink in there, or paint, I should say, and then just color, color, color. <clears throat> and then I take a stencil brush, which I bought at the 99 cent store, and just start to blend it up. Doesn't have to be perfect at first. You can go in there with the Posca again and touch it up. I just take it and dot it. Dab it everywhere. So I go around the whole rock like that. Just taking my Posca section at a time, give it a good amount of paint. <coughs> and then just dab, dab, dab. So I use Posca for this just because Posca's dry a lot faster than regular acrylic paint in the bottle. But you could use acrylic paint too, it would work just the same. It's just a little bit thicker than the Posca is. So it takes a little bit longer to dry. Poscas have more water in them. So if you're not happy with the amount of fading or shading that you're getting, like I said, you can always come back in, add a little bit of black under your line. You don't want a hard line. And then just blend it up. Just keep blending and keep blending until you get a, a good fade that you like. So I'm just gonna go around the rock real fast here Okay, I'm almost done. So if you get a little bit of a hard line, like you can kind of see where I drew on my Posca right here, I come right underneath the line with another little bit of Posca and I just blend it out so that you don't see that hard line. You want more of a fade, but it's super easy. So that's it. And that's what I start with, with for, the, for this kind of silhouette background, this is how I would start with my back. Thank you for watching. I just want to uh, say that you can find me on Instagram at rocked the spot, R-O-C-K-E-D, the spot. Thanks for watching.